Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Viaran and today we're going to be asking ourselves are the mount collars really worth it? Now I don't mean in terms of leveling up, I definitely don't think they're worth it in terms of getting them to like legendary and mythic. But I'm talking about equipping them. So for those of you who watched my older build videos you'd notice that I used to only run about two or three collars and that is because my stats I got I got my stats in a point where if I added on another collar I'd go in the red. That's due to my poor balancing more than anything. So as we've been getting the these bound collars, mo most of my collars are bound. But as we've been getting these bound collars, I've been selling the collars that weren't bound and I've been equipping the bound ones. So if we look at our stats with all the colors on right now, we got 52k, 54k combo advantage, then 52, 52, and the percentage is, you know, pretty average. Uh, the combat advantage, I'm not worried about that. I've got some things boosting the combat advantage when in combat. So, and then the crit uh, strike and crit severity go up to 90%. The power. Uh, with the watermelon sorbet goes close to 90% so yeah the stats are the stats in, are in a pretty good place right now and you've got the base damage up there which is 6500 nearly 6600 so as you can see these colors they give crit severity come uh, encounter power damage movement speed stamina gain and gold bonus so these are not going to help my, you know, my combat advantage percentage or anything like that. However, because they have item level, it's going to boost the stats a little bit. Which is why we're going to unequip all of them right now. And we're going to see the damage. As you can see, we are now in the red with combat advantage. Why? Because the only combat advantage we actually lost is just... It's the same with all the stats, but the only stats we actually lost are because of the item level combined rating whatever you want to call it but each bit of gear that has a certain amount of item level you get a certain amount of that item level added onto your stats now we've gone from 52k to 51k so we've lost i'd say about 15 1500 of each stat um but we are now on 51.9 item level instead of 54 so we've lost did we really lose 3k item level we'll find out in a minute but anyway guys the combat advantage is now in red now if you're running zero colors you might have some red stats so how do you get them stats out of the red zone red zone is basically wasted stats you can only go to 1000 above your item level on that stat so I could only go to 54944 on combat advantage. No, 52944. But I've gone up to 53, which means I've got wasted stats. And I'm sure some of you guys out there have got wasted stats. Hey, look, I got, I got more power. No idea how that works, but somehow I got more power. But anyway, we're going to equip the collars now. And we're going to see how many we need to get ourselves out of the red. So, we're going to go for crit severity, that's an important one, and there you go. With just one collar, we've upped our item level, which in turn has basically upped the stat cap. So the stat cap is no longer 52,944, the stat cap is now 53,544, which is why uh, the combat advantage is green. You want to aim for all green stats, but don't worry about the green stats if you can't get the percentages always focus on the percentages first so as you can see through base damage up up at the top right uh, i don't know why i'm pointing at the screen it's not like you can see but anyway 6300 with the colors we get more base damage now i'm not worried about getting my stats into green i came to a point where my stats were fine my damage output was fine but I wanted more base power. I don't know how important the base power is. 
Um, I know everything's got to do with gear and I'll do a video on where to get all the gear that I've got because that was requested in a build video. But if we go and add everything back on now, you will see that base power is going to go up. So we're on the AOE, so we'll put encounters and then we'll put all these bad boys on. And as you can see, we're on 6521. Uh, 6593 sorry but the power has gone down the percentage but the stats have gone up so my opinion guys when it comes to collars they're, they're useful for getting you out of the red stats but I have no idea why I'm losing percentage yeah I do do I I don't know why I'm losing percentage guys um it doesn't make any sense I wonder if it's because the stat threshold has been increased because I've added all the colors on so if I take the colors on uh, off so the stat threshold can decrease it's going to increase the percentage because it will be closer to the cap that's what I think it is but don't quote me on that all in all our colors useful they're useful for getting you out of the red stats if you've got red stats put a couple of colors on uh, which colors I go with the crit severity I go with the encounter power on AoE single target I go with at will I've got the movement speed so I can beat to the mobs first I got the stamina gain uh, that's not a biggie and the gold bonus again not a biggie but yeah guys let me know what your stats are at down below in the comments section if you did enjoy smash that like button for me subscribe if you are new thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next one